Space Buddies, Potemic Whiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Scotland, where things are taking a turn for the okay. I would say generally, you know, everything is going nicely. We've got a nice cash flow going. We've got good luxury flow. Um, we've got plenty of cities that we can get our hands on. I need to figure out how to get rid of this scout because he's in the way. I would say generally, yeah, just like things are good in this game right now, which is unexpected considering how bad our start was. But it just goes to show you sometimes you should play out a kind of bad start because you can get an interesting game. Now we're going to go for the lighthouse for the trade route, but then we're immediately going to go for the uh, university. We need to get the harbor card plugged in, particularly when we get ready to do mass production. We need that 30% production to get shipyards online a little bit faster. Uh, we're also going to want to get naval tradition ASAP. I don't think we need it just yet, but it will be soon. I think we can get away with it, with not having it for a little while longer. Then I had to move this scout and it's it's messing up my whole build here. But I guess, I guess moving to the sheep isn't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, moving to the sheep is fine. We get a slightly worse, a slightly worse harbor. We can eventually get it back up to plus, plus whatever. Um, but this is this is more or less on the same ballpark of how, how things were going to go here. So I think we can live with that little bit of scout weirdness blocking our bullshit. Plus one error score for being the first to discover, well, when for discovering cartography. We're, I don't think we were the first to discover it. That's going to be plus two gold from all our fishing boats. And we actually have a decent number of fishing boats. So if I go to my... If I go to the search function here and I type in fishing boat and then spacebar Scotland... Uh, you can see we have 15 fishing boats so that's 30 gold right now and that will continue to rise as we build more like we just literally built an extra one we're about to unlock another one in this city two envoys of the mic i'm going to send one envoy to both hunza and venice because this is going to be worth two gold in the capital and in the market and lighthouses um, and so that will really help catapult our gold income um, our gold income will be starting to skyrocket. I probably should have plugged in the double envoy for the first thing. It's fine that I didn't. We're going to go ahead and plug in veterancy so we can build harbors faster. Urban planning will eventually go. Serfdom will stay for basically the rest of the game um, as it's super powerful. Is there like some magic ability that tells the, the, the AI to set, to put their scouts exactly where I want to put my cities? Like what the hell is going on here? What the actual hell? Uh, we definitely want to be buying fish tiles to get them online. Um, and we also want to place the campus in here because it's kind of important. And another thing we could do, we could, we could potentially buy this tile as well to give the city another land tile and this tile to get another land tile in the city, which would allow me to place more districts in here, um, which would theoretically open up options for us. All right, fishing boat online. Awesome. City has amazing growth, amazing fishing. Um, settlers on the way. Yeah, this scout, I don't know what it is, but these scouts have just found the exact tile that they can stand on to ruin my day. So I'm going to have to move this city as well. I, I'm shocked that this happened twice in a single game. I mean, it's fine. I settled the horses. It's a slightly worse city to move here. When I say slightly worse, I mean really, really slightly worse. Marginally worse. I think I was trying to send a quadrireme down here. I do not know where it went. We can embark on ocean now, which makes exploring quite a bit easier. Um, it wouldn't be bad to get a caravel or two but I think we're a little bit beyond that economically right now. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. Another fish boat in here. Let's make sure we're working the fishing tiles because they're worth a little bit more in terms of growth. I need to be making sure I'm always checking on the happiness of my cities. Uh, yep, literally just as I said it, they dipped. So I'm going to buy luxury resources until we're back up to full. We are back up to full. We don't need any more. So I just need to glance up here at the start of every turn to make sure my amenities are nice and high. We've got a fishing tile over here we can get online. I will buy that tile in Chris Waters. Walters, rather. And we can plonk down the city of Haddington. Let's go ahead and get started on the harbour. We will Definitely go Granary Monument. Makes sense in here. I think we'll just chop through. We might chop out the harbor, actually. There's a couple chops in here, which I think is worth it. And then we can probably send up a builder. Um, we've got a four charge builder we can send over here. And a great thing is we can embark on ocean right now. So we'll, we'll get to see more of the world, make more decisions. What have we got here? Okay, we finished the lighthouse in Andre Andrade Braga. Let's get to work on that campus. It's time to start scaling our science up. We would like the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's work on Hunza first, I think. Trade routes generate one gold for every five tiles they travel. We'll slowly build up that. Probably inefficient to start doing that now, but it's fine. I think I'd like this warrior to get leveled up. 
and he'd have to become a man at arms. So I need to research ironworking before I do that. And then we'll go for mass production so we can get shipyards. Shipyards are amazing. I'll explain how they work when we get to them. Uh, we'll chop here. That'll take 12 turns off that harbor. Beautiful. One, two, three settlers. So probably when we get to exploration, we'll look into getting more settlers. Uh, we got the lighthouse in Philip Keel. So I'm going to buy a trader in the city of Haddington. We'll get ready to chop. Uh, let's get that university going. That's going to be nice. A little bit of science going. We need to build a mausoleum though. Let's prioritize the mausoleum. It's worth a lot of science, a lot of culture, a lot of faith. That's actually going to be my only source of faith this game. Kind of an interesting, an interesting eventuality. All right, the quadrireme's in position to start clearing this barb camp. Now I want you to trade with the capital. Now we could get a lot of gold from international trade, but I think internal trading first is the move until we can maybe get an alliance with somebody and then externally trading with big alliance benefits in the mid to late game. Because like that shaved six turns off this campus, which is insane, right? That's six more turns of benefiting from the campus, like across a variety of dimensions. We got the lighthouse in Carson Kinney. Let's get to work on the campus in there. It's all starting to come together. We want to build, we want to buy a trader in this city, although we need a little bit more cash. Amenity demands have gone up. Let's buy another amenity and another amenity. There we go. We're maxed out. Keep those amenities nice and high. Remember, this is a civilization that benefits heavily from amenities. So it's quite important that we keep our amenities really, 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 really robust. Again, we're going to trade with the capital because three food, three production in this city um, really scales it fast. Let's just go straight lighthouse. I think we can make straight lighthouse work into monument, into granary, because um, we're our, our trade routes are popping off right now. Drop a fishing boat over here in Chris Walters. Fantastic situation to be having in here. Really great growth. Okay production. Not amazing production. Just okay produ Okay production. Just, 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 just okay. The quad is taking a decent amount of damage. Once you pop back here so you can heal for a turn or two before we go back to clearing this. You want to become a man at arms. We will turn you into a man at arms. Even though I wanted that money for something else, we'll send you down here to clear this barb camp. Um, that seems necessary to me. It'll also make our city slightly better defended, which is good. This could be some sort of district. An industrial zone isn't the worst thing in the world, especially if I put a couple of mines next to it. And then I guess a golf course. Like we're kind of looking at this. This is the kind of setup that we want, I think. And it's the kind of setup that we're working towards. So it'll be something like harbor, into campus, into industrial zone, into amenities, maybe even amenities first, depending. Okay, one of our cities is not perfectly happy, so we just buy the luxuries. Pop down the city, you step in there and heal. My builder is out, um, and I guess we start building those mines. You would like a decent campus in here. I don't see a good campus. Well, you know what? A good industrial zone would go here. An okay campus would go here. And then a entertainment complex would go here. This would all just kind of work together really nicely, like plus two, plus two, plus four. Eventually we'll be able to get a little bit of extra production on this industrial zone, right? Be a decent, a decent thing. So we'll go Granary Monument and we'll place the harbor, but not build it yet. We've got ourselves Preslav and we also met Korea. I'm curious to see. Korea is super far ahead technologically, but we are slowly catching up. We're up to 50, so they're only four times our science. And we are only just now starting to actually build campuses and universities. The mausoleum is coming online. I think we're in a position to where we can catch up scientifically. We have enough cities now to where that's actually an option. We can also start to get friendships with people, which is great. Securing friendships means we secure trade, we secure deals. Once you see if you can step through here. Oh yeah, wow. Um, let's start doing some mutual open borders with our friend Korea. One of our cities is not max happiness. Let's buy some more luxuries. You know what, I'll just buy them all. Why not? Let's keep these cities happy. Uh, now, do you have the trade route? You do not have the trade route, so I'm going to buy a trader in here in Roxborough. Trade route to Philip Keel. Boom. That's three food, three production in the city, which means we get to our, you know, max situation a little bit faster. We may actually go for the Diplo quarter in the capital when we get to 10 population. I think that's actually the play um, because I'm doing internal trade right now. Yeah, I think that's the play. It's it's uh, heavily delayed, but that doesn't mean it's bad. All right, let's get this fishing boat online. My fishing boats pop like crazy good. Uh, my, my fishing boats go crazy, basically is what I'm saying. So I gotta be, I gotta be prioritizing those. And we will put a mine right there, as is the plan. I need a lot of gold and I need a lot of tile purchasing. So I'm hoping I can do something with that. Got a lot of bill charges up here. Is it necessary? Probably not. India is saying I have very few troops, which is kind of worrying considering he has like nearly four times my military. Probably should get a caravel or two to, you know, make myself look a little scarier. Maybe I'll do that after exploration. Let's make sure we're constantly buying tiles. 
to make our empire better because our fishing boats are crazy and will give us great acceleration. That's going to be the main use of our gold is accelerating our eco. So he's denouncing me. That's a little bit concerning. Um, we can defend pretty effectively with caravels and frigates. The only thing is we're missing the nighter, which kind of sucks. Another plus two, plus one error score for being the, for getting exploration. We are definitely going to go ahead and switch to Merchant Republic. 15% production towards districts, 10% extra gold in cities. We get to keep the wild card. I put veterancy up here. We take Republican legacy. Would love to plug in, uh, not retinues, the one that gives you amenities. We may temporarily plug in professional army so I can upgrade a couple of caravels to make my army look a little bit scarier. And colonial offices is actually, it's a rare colonial offices game, maybe. 15% faster growth is like a lot of food compared to 13 gold. And a significant portion of my empire is outside of my home region. So library coming up in here. Do I want to go to the entertainment complex route? I think we do. And I think if I'm going to do the entertainment complex, well, let me tell you, it should go on this tile instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. It still hits that city. So I'll pop down the entertainment complex, put it there. That'll make these slightly better. We got the harbor in Roxborough. Let's place the campus. Boom. And then we'll work on the lighthouse. So placing the campus locks in its price. Price of districts goes up over time. If you lock them in nice and early, there's one caravel and two caravels that will slightly upgrade our combat power, making us look a little bit scarier. We'll buy the iron tile, we'll improve the iron. And actually, let's have a look and see if anyone wants to buy our strategics. Oh yeah, 26 gold there, a little bit of gold there, a little bit of gold there. We have no luxuries to sell, sadly, which is kind of crappy. Oh yes, this barb camp is cleared. So we're very close to thinking about our next wave of settlers. Samarkand is being murdered, which I'm a little bit unhappy about because I've invested quite a bit into that relationship. Let's explore with our caravels. Got a couple exploration directions we can we can uh, we can go check out. We did find Mitla, and finding city states is going to be big for us. All right, there's drama and poetry. Uh, we're going to assign Amani to Zanzibar to get control of it again. Samarkand died. There could be an argument for me to declare war on them later to release that because this is just so much gold that's locked up here. It's like twelve gold per city in the late game. So we may want to try to liberate Samarkand later. We may want to try to do it soon, get my hands on some niter of some kind. Let's see if we can get niter then. Well, we should go for mass production first. The shipyard's a pretty important milestone. Then we'll go for niter. And if we can get niter, we'll build some quads and see if we can liberate Samarkand. We wouldn't be able to liberate Kandy, but Samarkand is more important. Kandy's a, not a city state I care too much about. To TBH. Hoping to get the circumnavigate this era, actually. It would be nice to transition into a golden age soon. We found Geneva. We're finding all the city-states, man. There we go. First campus with adjacency of three or higher. Awesome. I want you to go ahead and retreat. Uh, that was in Carson Kinney. We'll go ahead and grab the library in here. It's time to get that science up. And we should finally get Liang with aquaculture. And I'm going to spend a bit of cash in here to get those builders to aquaculture up this city a little. Just doing a little bit of fog busting, revealing the map, because it feels good to have a revealed map. At least in my opinion, I think it does. New districts act as culture bombs. I vote for myself once on that. I would like this, but I don't want it that badly. Um, so I'm only going to vote for myself three times. Otherwise, I'm just going to sell my Diplo favor, because I think the, the soul to Diplo favor has roughly an equal amount of value. Yeah, so we won. Oh, wow. Usually the AI never wins this. Shocked by that. Plus one error score. We got a campus over here. Let's get the library up. And it's fishery tile. Look at that for food. That is a, these tiles go hard. Dude, these tiles go so hard. Uh, in Edinburgh, we're going to go ahead and buy the quarry tile. Just trying to keep the empire developing. Somehow we didn't have masonry boosted yet. And then we'll get the crabs. So the great thing, the, one of the great things in one of these coastal games is because you have so much money, you have so much time and energy to like buy things. Ooh, Samarkand is flipping. That's big. If we can maintain that flip, that would be amazing. All right, we got shipyard. Perfect. So shipyard's going to be a big priority. And the reason that the shipyard is a big priority is because it gives you the second line there. It says bonus production equal to the adjacency bonus of the harbor district and plus one production on all unimproved coast and lake tiles in the city. So it actually turns your coastal cities into production powerhouses. Now, that's also going to trigger us to start researching naval tradition for the 100% harbor district adjacency bonus because this will double the benefit. So now every single harbor I have in my empire, right, plus three, plus six, plus four, plus five, plus three, double those 
and then turn it into production. So that's going to be 12 production, 6 production, 8 production, 10 production, 6 production. It's going to be a huge amount of production that's just injected into my economy. Uh, my Sim City is going to go crazy soon. My science is also going to go crazy soon uh, once I have my universities and I start working my university slots. Maya has attracted enough tourists to be dominant over me. My culture is pretty weak, so I'm not worried about that. We do have alliances now. Let's have a look at the culture screen. Yeah, my culture sucks, so Maya being dominant over me is like not surprising. The question is, does she have monopolies? Yeah, it looks like she has an amber monopoly and maybe a pearls monopoly. So she could be, she could be going a little crazy here. Uh, but there's not much I can do about that. If the AI goes crazy, what can I do? 19 turns on the shipyard here. I'm going to want to start getting as much money injected into my economy as possible so I can buy shipyards, in particular in cities with high shipyard qualities and low quality cities. So 101,000 gold here to get this shipyard. Boom. Instantaneously, the production in this city just like jumped. Um, the shipyard itself is giving four. These coastal tiles will give more. Um, and we're going to be looking to buy the majority of our shipyards because that's one of the pe that's one of the power points of a naval base game is you just you have a lot of money. You're usually flush with cash. Now I don't think we found any niter. We haven't even researched military engineering yet, so we're fine. The mausoleum is one of the easiest wonders in the game to build, and the AI almost never builds it. And, and the power of the mausoleum is in its simplicity. It just gives you plus one science, plus one faith, and plus one culture on all coastal tiles for this city. Now, in conjunction of Pingala, if you're working coastal tiles, that's like getting two science, two culture for every pop in the city. It's really, really powerful. And actually my capital science and culture now, if I kind of do a little refresh in here, it's 44.9. So if we could get a shipyard in here, that would go really, really hard. Um, in terms of districts, we're going to go ahead and drop the Diplo quarter. I think I'm going to prioritize the Diplo quarter and buy my university next, or rather buy the shipyard next. We definitely want the university, but the Diplo quarter is like an important empire wide piece of infrastructure. It would be nice to get the Colossus if we could. It's just like we have to prioritize very carefully. Um, universities are coming. 24, 24 turns. Universities are one of the most important milestones for a science game, which is what we're in. So we need to be ready to deal with that. Uh, crabs grows in one turn. That'll be fine. All right, nice. We have access to lumber mills as well as theology. We get to claim a great admiral. Um, he forms an armada out of a military unit. So we'll wait until that comes along. Let's get the university. We want to sell everything we can, particularly iron. Like any strategics that we can sell um, is huge. We got the granary in here. Let's place that industrial zone. It's cheap right now. Um, we may as well build it. Let's have a look. We got an envoy in the bank. I think now that we're starting to get shipyards online, I think it would be good to go up to a level two relationship with all these city states to get that plus four gold from shipyards. That's going to start to pay huge dividends. Drop a fishing boat on the crabs here. Oh, yes. This is this is the economic engine that I love to build. The coastal, like this is Potato McWhiskey at his best in a coastal game. Coastal games are some of my favorite ways to play. I am being spied on. Someone is stealing tech from me, I think. Preslav is flipping independent. That's fine. When am I getting my settlers? I could buy my settlers. Let me see. How much are settlers? They're only a thousand gold each, but that would cut into my shipyard currency. All right, I'm going to buy a shipyard in the capital because it just makes sense. Boom. So we went from 15 production with a refresh to 24 production, right? That is a huge increase, um, almost a 50% increase actually in production from a single building purchase off the back of that shipyard. Shipyards are so important, so powerful, so efficient. You really need to get to them quick. And this is where my empire is going to start to go a little crazy, which I'm which I'm here for and I'm looking forward to. Drop another fishery in the city of Carson Kenny. Like this city has just 46 positive food with ecstatic um just insane just insane all right enemies are passing proposals city state emergency unit needs orders why don't you pop in to get another fishery there you may as well build a mine on this tile so making nearly 300 gold per turn so we can buy a shipyard roughly every three point something turns and now if we keep selling off resources um, that will become a reality even faster, particularly Diplo favor. If we can get that sold off, like I should be able to buy a shipyard now. Um, in particular, it'd be pretty sick to get a shipyard in here, although I can't quite afford it. We got the Diplo qu quarter in here. Um, the consulate would be nice. That's two influence per turn as well as eight gold per turn. We really do need the university and stuff, but I'm also just like, I need to go hard on settlers in a couple turns. So I'm going to put two turns into the consulate and then I'll probably go hard on settlers. Library completed in here. Would love to be building the shipyard, but we're going to buy it with gold probably next turn. Did we... No, we haven't learned... We haven't researched naval tradition. We're going to research it now because um, it's time. Let's get the harbor in here. I will place the industrial zone because it's it's not cheap. I will place... Oh, nothing is cheap. Well, I'll place an entertainment complex. 
All right, you got an envoy in the bank. Let's go up to another higher level with Hunza. Boom, even more gold flowing through our economy. And this, this rate of gold that we're getting, this pace should only speed up as time goes on. This 300 gold per turn is only the beginning. All right, nice. There is Niter. Did we find any in any of our cities, any nearby? Take off our pins? No, I don't think we did. So we got a little bit unlucky on the Niter front. That's life. Sometimes you don't land Niter. Let's go ahead and buy the shipyard in here. This is a six production shipyard with 12 gold on it. Boom. Um, that will skidoodle increase our production on gold quite a bit. Let's grab plus one food on pastures. And then I think we would like to head to industrialization for the plus one production on mines. Square rigging would be nice for movement on our frigates or embarked units rather. We are definitely getting a golden age, which is what we were looking for. Uh, I think I need to save my gold, so I'm not going to buy any tiles for a little while. Okay, campus completed in Roxburgh. Let's go for the library and the university. City goes hard now, which I'm happy about. So I'd like you to turn this into an armada. That gets me the era score. So golden age, 100% secured with 10 turns to go. No problem. Not even a doubt in my mind that we would get it. Keeping an eye on the happiness. There's stirrups, plus one food on our thingies. There's 100%. We're going to drop urban planning now. Um, and we're going to take naval infrastructure. That's worth 14 production and 12 27 gold compared to the 7 production from this card. Um, I think Colonial Offices is still good, so we'll we'll keep it for now. And Republican Legacy is really helpful. Policy Agenda set. Let's keep making money if we can. Iron and Horses being sold to the AI for raw gold. Diplo Favor as well being sold for raw gold. That should be enough to buy a shipyard. The city doesn't have a shipyard. It could use one. That's 8 production in there. Boom. Bringing us up to a healthy 26 production, meaning the city actually does go hard now. We're nearly making 400 gold per turn. Uh, with exploration, let's go for Reform Church. We definitely want the golf courses. Those plus two amenities per city that we can get them in will be really helpful. Uh, industrial zone is completed. We want this shipyard, but it will work on the workshop first. The city also needs a builder, actually, so I'll quickly crack at a builder. We also need to get more traders. So finding time to build that. We also need to build spies in the near future. Let's put two envoys into Venice. This is going to get us plus four gold in every shipyard again. That'll bring us up over 400 gold, 414. And that's only going to continue to scale as we buy more shipyards. Um, this Caraval Armada now just like actually kind of breaks the game a little. Because if I garrison it in a city, it's a 76 combat strength city. It's basically unkillable. And all of my cities are coastal, so they can all be garrisoned. If you're curious, yeah, that does break the game a little. But in like, in like a good and fun way, not like a, oh, the game is completely turbo trashed. It's kind of broken. Like, ooh, this like very narrow set of circumstances. It's kind of hard to defeat. Yeah, we want a lot of, we want a lot of caravels just to keep my empire like a little bit more militarily strong to just, just basically flex. I'm willing to spend a bit of cash on that. Basically flex on the AI and make us look a little bit scarier. I'm going to buy this tile, even though I probably shouldn't, but I can chop there, so that would be cool. All right, brilliant. We have access to guilds. This gives us things like industrial zone adjacency bonus. I think I'm going to drop out professional army now and take retainers for the amenities. I was using veterancy. I think, well, actually, I can get most of my amenities. Until I have amenity problems, I don't need retainers because I can buy most of my amenities from the AI. So I think Reyna getting Harbour Master now would be fantastic, as long as I assign her to the correct city. Uh, and the correct city is Andre Andrade Braga, because this city has the most amazing harbour ever. So five turns from now. This won't be a 12 production harbour. This will be an 18 production harbour. This city will go hard. It's already making 33 production off the back of that double shipyard. Um, yeah, but we need to keep saving money. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to unlock i'm going to drop republican legacy just for a little while so we can plug in colonization to get settlers out and i'm going to just go one two three settlers in my capital because i need one two three four settlers so we'll just burn through the settler producers um while the rest of my empire does useful stuff why don't you go ahead and drop the industrial zone in this city boom like it's a mixtape then get us get a builder and then finish that industrial zone we also need to get the campus so we'll finish the university first alexander would like to be friends i don't know who i want my allies to be when she sends you a delegation to declare a friendship we need to buy traders we need to buy um we need to buy all sorts of stuff like it's just a complicated time let's get to work on that workshop definitely feeling the gold crunch right now in that i have a lot of stuff i want to spend my gold on and not quite enough um, not quite enough gold to do everything I want. So let's go ahead and buy the shipyard in here. That's going to be another 16 gold per turn. We're up to 442 gold per turn. Why don't you make me some of these traders? I need these four traders, so you get to work on that. So taking stock of the science situation, we are now roughly half the science of most of the saves in the game. We're still bottom science, but we're now climbing uh, because we're getting our universities online. And speaking of universities coming online, if I come into the city, what we're going to be doing is prioritizing science. 
so that now each district will get me plus four science from specialists, which is quite good. On top of the fact that we're also going to start building relationships with scientific city states now. So like if I put an envoy into Mitlap, boom, there's another seven science per turn. This shipyard we could hard build, but I think it's better if we don't. You're going to also produce me some traders because I'm a little bit behind on traders. Actually, you could get me a settler and that would not be bad because it would take pressure off the capital to build a settler. And we could even chop this out if we so choose. In fact, I will so choose. Boom. And that will just boosh. Get that settler just a few turns sooner. Okay, so Mali declared war on me. Um, I will take an economic alliance with Alexander. So Mali declared war on me. Okay, okay, hold on. There's divine rights. So we have access to the golf course right now. So how am I going to deal with this Mali war? Am I even under threat? We have relatively similar stats. He's a slightly bigger military, but I feel like I rule the waves. So all I have to do is like be well positioned, maybe get a few privateers. Oh yeah, actually, it's privateer time. Have I unlocked privateers? No. But after Reformed Church, we go straight for privateers. See if we can't pillage a little bit of this coastline. I think that's the play here. Uh, we also got James Young, the oil guy. I tell you what, though, on the verge of an interesting war with the Malian Empire, I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!